before moving on, we can actually just test the legs. That doesn't look that bad. We get the nice indentation with his muscle lines here, and with a little bit of smoothing back here, with a bit of an expanded brush, we can blend that back in. We also need to blend the stomach together, so this is all going to kind of come in a little bit as well. As we start blending into the stomach area, and across the second and third rib bones, so I'm really trying to blend the results here. Even though these are tightly packed, I want to grab the average of points in the area. This may not be perfect yet. It might take a little bit more time, but I'm just going to add some weight back to this bone. I think I took away too much. But we have other ways of controlling these areas, and that's when we get into the, the more advanced rig. I probably don't want to use an absolute mode here. I'll go to an add brush, and I'll just slowly add in 10% opacity back to any area I click. So just kind of pull these points up a little bit higher so they don't lose the the volume that they had. These are all 100% so they're not moving. And that means I can pull these guys up a little bit more. I'll do a little bit of a blend here as well. This looks pretty horrible. Uh, I'll take these points and just add them back in slowly. these ones a little bit. Oh, we don't want that. So even when you're smooth painting, you're actually kind of clicking, not so much not so much painting. At times you're painting when you're doing a lot of smoothing, but I find almost working vertex by vertex seems to be seems to be the way to go when I'm when I'm building these characters. If you really want to get fancy, you can start getting into the the weight editor. But I kind of like to use the paintbrush. It just feels a little more natural. And the other thing with this Malkor character, we don't really expect him. I think it is a him. I'll probably smooth this out now. Maybe we can get this brush a little bit bigger. We don't expect him to make these kind of extreme moves anyways, but nonetheless we are starting to get a, a decent deformation in this area. He's also going to be clothed as well, so we're not going to see a lot of this movement here. But it doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little bit of smoothing right here. and smooth that area out. And I'll just mirror this over to the other side now. Grab the character. Mirror weights. Okay. Pretty good for that area. So I think with that we kind of finish off, at least for now, the, the pelvic region and we can move on focus more in the torso area and work our way up through the arms and down into the feet. Let's just uh, get Mulcor out of this painful position here. I'm going to jump into the mixer and use that rest pose. So let's move on.